right, here's a little video about capitalism, communism, and socialism. Um, Mr. Wagner here from my YouTube channel, and uh, we're learning about Chinese communism. And so I wanted to start off with this. So Pareto's principle says that 80% of the wealth of any nation is in 20% of the people's hands. So capitalism is represented here. Scrooge McDuck would probably be like your Jeff Bezos, and that's how much money he has, right? And then, you know, you've got like, I don't know, probably like Donald Trump right there. Or like, you know, probably people that make a decent amount of money. And then you'll notice that Michelangelo and on down, they have like one square. Um, most people don't have too much. And then the last two people have none. Uh, as you see here, sorry, I'm not doing my best work there. Okay, Jack and uh, Jester have nothing. So the good news about capitalism is you can make a lot of money. Uh, anybody can buy into um, or get investors to buy into their business, like WagCorp could be starting out, and then you can make a lot of money someday. On the other side is your socialism. Socialism says that you take from the owners of rich businesses, they don't say how violent you have to be, and then everybody gets an equal piece. Everybody gets one square, no matter what your job is. And socialism doesn't understand that. What if your job is Wonder Woman? I mean, she's saving lives, you know? That's crazy. But then if you are just, you know, an instrument, what's it called, in a band, you're making the same amount as Wonder Woman. Superhero, person in a band. Everybody gets equal. So you'll never have to have nothing. No one will ever have zero squares like the Jester and Jack in the background. But you can never have a whole, whole lot. Obviously, people who have a whole lot, like Scrooge McDuck, are like, heck no, I'm not doing socialism. But then you're never without anything. Communism is basically like... Socialism with an evil twist in some ways. Okay. Communism basically brings in socialism, but some kind of mutation of it. And in order to keep control, there's an emphasis by the leader, represented by the emperor, to do everything he can to control and obliterate anybody who would question you know, General Akbar's like, this doesn't seem right, I'm going to resist this. Well, you, you disappear in the middle of the night and we never see you again. And then, ouch, darn. Um, obviously, then you have control of the socialism, and it never seems to work right in real life because they're never really quite socialism, they're more worried about power.